A Cape Breton wildlife officer says Aboriginal hunters are finding sick and dying eagles, and they're blaming lead shot still used by some hunters. An education campaign is underway to inform hunters about the impact lead bullets are having on wildlife. Gary Mansfield reports. The bald eagle is a large, powerful bird of prey in Nova Scotia. Wildlife experts say something is killing them. After an animal is killed, uh, the lead fragments are left behind in the gut piles. And some of these are microscopic, and some of them you can, you can see with an x-ray. An and what we're finding is these tiny lead fragments are uh, poisoning uh, our, our eagles. Clifford Paul is a wildlife officer for five First Nation communities in Cape Breton. He's seen more cases of eagles dying from lead poisoning. Paul says hunters need to know the impact a lead shot is having on birds. People are starting to get educated. Mm -hmm. There's communities, First Nation communities in the United States that uh, voluntarily switched over to non-lead bullets and um, it's working well for them. Um, you look at the First Nation communities that have traditional diets, you know, we're worried about the mercury in our uh, fish. We have to worry about the lead we ingest in our meat as well. The eagle is an important symbol for Mi'kmaq people. So tomorrow evening, wildlife specialists are holding a workshop for all hunters at the Wagamacook Cultural Center. This information is not just for the First Nation communities. Of course, the First Nation communities are uh, heavily impacted, but this is for everybody that, uh, that uh, enjoys wild, wild meat and that they enjoy the great outdoors, they enjoy harvesting, and uh, this is for every hunter. Paul says it's a part of their campaign to get hunters to switch from lead to copper bullets. Gary Mansfield, CBC News, Sydney.